just going to fillet this sucker right off the bone. Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Fish Out Northwest, winning on Tommy Donlan. This is what you call a bait stop. Hey, hello, and welcome to Fish Hunt Northwest. Wayne England coming to you from the Fish Hunt Northwest studio located here on Summit Lake in Olympia, Washington. I want to welcome everybody here on Root Sports. If it's your first time checking us out, uh, do us a favor. Stop on over at our webpage, www.fishhuntnw.com. There you're going to find a coupon with edge rods. Edge fishing rods, 20% off all the time. FHN20 coupon at checkout. We've partnered with Edge Rods, and through us and them, you're going to get 20% off all fishing rods all the time at Edge Rods uh, if it's not already pre previously attached to another coupon code or special. So along with that, hey, if it's the first time here again, uh, do us a favor. Jump on over to our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Check out our YouTube channel, subscribe. We have a lot of additional content we put up on YouTube and Facebook uh, that we do not always have time to put here on the show. So check out everything going on at Facebook. Give us a like and follow. You're never going to miss anything or additional content we put up there. Speaking of which, oftentimes Tommy and I are out on the water, in the woods, filming content to bring to you as part of our show format. Unfortunately, here on Root Sports, we do not always have time to bring you that type of outdoor content within our half-hour show. So every once in a while... We're going to kind of do an audible, bring you some outdoor content that I know you're going to enjoy. So today's show uh, is going to be just that. Going to jump out for a quick break. We come back, we're going to be on the water or in the woods, enjoying what it is we love to do in the outdoors. A couple minute break, we'll be back here, Fish on Northwest. Defiance Marine is the one-stop shop for the Pacific Northwest Angler. Defiance Marine guarantees the best price on a new and best service on a repower for your current boat. Defiance Marine is a Honda Premier dealership and one of the largest on the West Coast. Defiance Marine is a boat dealer who proudly sells Defiance, Allied, and Arima boats. All boats are built by West Coast fishermen for West Coast fishermen. Defiance Marine has all your boating needs to help you get out on the water. If you're looking for the best fishing rods in the world, you really do need to take a look at the edge rods. I designed and built new machinery, and I think this new machinery has enabled us to build blanks like no other company can build without this equipment. There is no other rods in the world that are as good as these rods. You owe it to yourself to take a good look at them. For more than 90 years, you've entrusted one brand to guide you toward living the lifestyle you've always dreamed of. Now you can entrust affiliated Better Homes and Gardens real estate professionals to interpret your needs and help you find the home in which to live your dream through every stage of your home buying or selling process. And through every stage of your life, there's Better Homes and Gardens real estate. Expect better.
you weren't aware, now you will know. Try, trying to uh, catch fish. Uh, <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> hey guys, Dwayne England, Fish Hunt Northwest. We're out here on the water this morning with my good buddy, Bobby Loomis, the Walleye Whisperer. <laughs> walleye Whisperer, there you go, uh -huh. there you go. So we, uh, we're successful in one regard. We got, we got five rods out yeah. right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm feeling, feeling good about myself. Right you now. are, yeah. you're pretty, am, pretty yeah. accomplished yes, this morning, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Up early, yeah. on the water, five rods out. We got some slow death rigs going. We got some uh, got some bottom walkers going. Yeah. How long the leaders are we running on this stuff? Most of the stuff I like running about four and a half, four and a half foot. You yeah. know, in that neighborhood. And we're running full length crawlers. We're yeah. Not, we're not breaking them short yet. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. But we're going yeah. to because we we've had a little bit of a uh, little bit of an issue this morning where the uh, fish in this cold water, you know, it, they're very lethargic yeah. and. Uh, you know they'll go up and and start nipping at the bait and and end up biting the end of that crawler off so and leaving you about that much yeah yeah in your yeah, small just, blade so. just past you know the just, end of the hook just right at the end sure, of the hook so. sure we're uh we're in about 50 to 55 feet of water water temps about 42 degrees um and as you said they're lethargic they're not really yeah. motivated to chase something for a long time are no they? i mean you're you're we're right here at the edge of the spawn yeah so most of these fish like that small fish that we caught here a little bit ago you know it it that's that's bit that's bit that's bit oh there we go that's a good bite yeah that's a good bite feed him on the line we just swapped that out too bobby there you go come on yeah, that was a good bite. Drop a little line. Mm -hmm. These here, man, you can just watch them peck, 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 and just time and time again. So, <clears throat> well, you know, it, it's like I said, this cold water. You know, these fish are, are very lethargic, and going into the spawn, you know, <clears throat> most everything kind of goes off the bite during the spawn yeah and we're we're right on the edge of of the spawn right now so which is typically triggered by water temp isn't it yeah. do you know what that is that really gets you, get, you get up in the in those uh uh mid 40s yeah 45 ish yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah so we're close uh, i can tell you this body of water is much warmer than roosevelt we were on roosevelt yesterday 36 degrees yeah yeah right so, oh. 
saw that bite. Did you get him? Looks like slippage. That's a good bite. Huh. He's there. It's just a small thing. Yeah, he followed that forever. Facing that at you, it might be a perch. Yeah. Big perch. Keeper perch for sure. No, 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 don't worry about that. <laughs> so I was going to try to bring it in with the uh, net right there. Yeah. That's, throw that in the box. This seems to eat good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Andy. Taco. Yeah. Good taco. Really good. Allied, the new leader in heavy gauge aluminum boats. Allied boats have standard reverse china and lifting rakes to help you plane faster and run at lower RPMs. Allied boats have several models to choose from, ranging from a 19-foot Mustang all the way up to a 32-foot Liberator. So regardless of what type of heavy gauge aluminum boats you are looking for, Allied boats will have it for you. Contact Allied boats today to learn more about these incredible fishing machines. That's a good fish, finally. I like it. The other rod ain't doing that. Or, that's in this rod. Yeah, feels like that line's coming in this way. That's a good size hook right there. I gotta tell you, we gotta keep it out of the water. Oh, yeah. Okay. That hook came right out of there. Nice. I like it, huh? Nice. That's not bad. I'd like to get about 10 or 12 of those. Yeah. And uh, that'd make for a good day right there, so. Uh, who knows, man? We're gonna get into a little bite here. We're back in that 50 foot water. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> Bobby, we tried that shallower water and didn't no. really materialize, but came back out for the 50 line and Next thing you know, we got bit. Yeah, that was a nice fish. Finally, a good taper. So, yep. yeah, I like it. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Lewis, so maybe we need to make a change on a couple other rods. We could. That seems like a decent fish. Yeah. You need me to move one of these rods? No. Mm -hmm. But we might need the net this way. Yeah. Have you caught a fish before? No. Yeah. 
See the one that you caught that fish on? This is the same one that I've got on. on this yeah, one. on this rod right here? Yes. So is that uh, glow perch pattern. Right? Okay. Yeah. And those are the uh, those are the two rods that have been hit the most today, mm -hmm. for sure. So. Looking for that fish. Oh yeah. And another rig in, <laughs> like every time it seems. What's that? Got another rig here. So let's make sure that net stays there. I'll get this off of here real quick. All right. Bobby, we got a particular rig that you make. Uh, we're running this on two rods today, and pretty much out of the five rods, these these are the two consistent that right. keep getting hit. So what's uh what's this little rig you've put together here? Well, this this is uh, one of our double whammies okay. that, that we make. And it's basically uh, what, what we call a small baby perch pattern. Okay. And it emulates, you know, baby perch colors. Right. So running them, especially running them deep like this, they, you've got that glow bead on there. Yep. And then you've got the accent colors, a little bit of orange, a little bit of green, mm -hmm. you know, and then that uh, UV glow blade on right. top. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, that one's always been money in any of these lakes over here in eastern Washington and on the Columbia. Well, because they're feeding so, on those little perch. Sure, right? sure. So absolutely. you're actually matching the hatch. Yeah. One yeah. thing you also do is you always seem to run a 1.5 blade above your sliding lead I, on a lot of your walleye rigs. When we fish together, this is a common I, thing for you. I do it on all of my trolling applications, salmon it's fishing. Extra flash. Yeah, absolutely. Extra attractant, right? Sure. It's just an added... and added bonus you know? and then so we're using a three ounce stick lead we got a two ounce out the back center rod because we want it back further from the other ones and right it's been working because we got five rods and we're hardly getting tangled yeah a few of these fish have ran across lines and it's been you know yeah but not a huge issue but uh we rig these bottom walkers as sliders why do you do that versus fixed because if you're running fixed you've got a, a piece of wire mm -hmm. running here to your leader and you're dragging this on the bottom feel wise you don't know what's going on right we've been able to see stuff uh, you know some of those small perch you know when you're dragging that that slider on there they're when they're biting mm -hmm. you're you're free to the rod and you can feed them line you can feed them they line can pull through you don't have weight. to yeah. exactly mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. so it it's so much better than running a a straight regular bottom right. walker right um you know running that slider is a huge huge thing yep i agree so well let's get a worm on that rig yeah let's get it back out get the it water. back out there it's been producing small dark blade on and just a worm i mean this is the smallest rig we got running right now yep. right yep smallest rig we got running and sure enough picked it up we're about the high highlight of the day as far as sun on the water yeah so we went as small as we could Is that a purple haze? Yes. Huh? So you want purple haze, point yeah. 0.8, yeah. nothing but that and a glow bead, yeah. and uh, a slow death hook. Yep. All right. All hail the purple haze. Where's those uh, night crawlers at? Well, Bobby. Hey, it was a good day. Not a bad day at all. No, uh, no. How about the weather, though? I mean, you don't get a lot of days out here. No, like you this. don't. 
Uh, I like I like a day any day we can come out here and not have to deal with the wind. Yeah, especially exactly. my boat at times, right? Yeah, yeah. So the consistency in the troll has been pretty good with the lack of wind. I got to yes. say, and you know we established a couple patterns that were more productive than, yeah. than others, right? Yeah. So your um, your perch combination. Yeah, perch combination and then going dropping down to that smaller profile. Right. Also worked very very well. Yeah. So. Yeah, I've seen the water dirtier out here mm -hmm. right now it's cold it's clear yep a lot of visibility um so yeah as the sun came up that smaller profile seemed to yeah make a difference yeah so it did not a lot of big flashy colors not a lot of you know no. big movement or anything no. slow and steady point point eight smile blade bead yeah and you know that that did the trick later on in the day when we were in that high mm -hmm. sun mm -hmm. you know we, uh, we seem to probably hit most of our fish at about a 0.8 mile per hour. Sometimes we'd bump it to one, slow back down, and they'd grab it. Yeah. So uh, it kind of kind of told me on these long trolls, like you're not getting bit, change a little something at times, right? Bump the speed a little, bring it back down, maybe sure. it entices a strike. It's they like, could be falling it. Yeah, it's like tro trolling for anything. Yeah, I right. mean, you know, kokanee salmon, you yep. know, you name it. Yeah. I mean, just that, that little subtle difference whether it's speed, whether it's movement on the gear, you know, what it is. Yeah. Just that subtle difference will trigger a bite. Trigger a bite, yep. Well, uh, can't thank you enough for making the trip over here to yeah. get out no, on the water hey, today. I'm glad you guys got to come over and do a little playing around. Yeah, yeah. Today was uh, was all about the walleye, so <laughs> yeah. just fine for me, man. I can't oh, wait yeah. to get to get to some tacos. These yeah. are going to be great. So. Yeah, you guys are going to have some good tacos. Oh, uh, yeah. Somebody's got to get on the road to home, and that ain't me. Yeah, yeah. So, I know, I know. Right on. Yeah. Well, uh, all right, buddy. We got more fishing to do uh, in the next several weeks, but, um, yeah, it's probably going to wrap it up for us here um great day of walleye fishing yeah Appreciate had a lot it. of fun glad you guys came over right on all right we are gonna uh, get on out of here stick around we'll be back here in the studio right after the break Sportco, an outdoor emporium, is the largest local outfitter in the Northwest since 1975, providing thousands of people affordable outdoor gear. This summer, make your next outdoor adventure more affordable by shopping at our warehouse style pricing. We are a local Scotty dealer, offering sales, service, and repair. Located in Fife and Seattle, come visit us today. The outdoors await you. McComey's customers are made in the Northwest for salmon, steelhead, lake trout, and kokanee. Our products come in a variety of sizes and colors to help you catch more fish. Find our products in stores or at McComey'sCustomLures.com. Yep, for sure. Oh, yeah. Big fish. Yeah, buddy. Nice fish. Beauty. Gorgeous fish. Bobby's on the board. We got a good one. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, that's oh, good. oh. No, geez, come on. Nice fish. Nice fish. We're gonna show you how to make fishing reels. All right, here we go, FA-10 quick tip. So we've been running our Brad's 360 uh, Revolutionary Flasher and herring in a helmet, 30 inch leader. We've been running this out the back as an additional rod. Um, no takers yet, so I'm gonna do a full on change, get some tuna action going. I got my max lure, 
360 flasher that we're going to put some tuna in. Uh, this is the nice thing about these flashers is they open up, can add a lot of, a lot of scent, a lot of attract in here. So we're going to do that. We'll close this up and uh, pin that one. So that's going to have a lot of scent, a lot of tuna coming out the back end of this thing once we get it on here. Okay. And then I got my Brad's mini cup plug. And uh, you know, the reds and chartreuses still hold true out here. So we're gonna put some tuna inside this. Now, one thing's for sure, you don't wanna overstuff these uh, so that they work properly, get a good spin. Don't need to have it to where it's completely coming out the side. So make sure you don't overstuff your, your Brad's minis or your kokanee cup plugs. Uh, make sure your rubber band's in place, trim the sides. I got this closed up, got plenty of tuna in here. Here's my mini cup plug. Again, this on about a 30, 32 inch liter, lots of whip. All right, put that on there and we'll get this on. That's, that's basically a, a major tuna presence right here. We're gonna go for lots of scent, lots of, uh, lots of attractant going into the water. Grab this and hook it up. Now we put this in the water. You wanna go lure or presentation, herring, whatever you're using, then your flasher, then your lead. So unwrap my lead, hold on to this. Okay, there's the, there's the mini cup plug, there's the flasher, then we drop our lead. Reel up your slack, and we know right where it's at. We'll see if we get good rotation on that flasher, yes. You can see it there, we got great spin on the cup plug. So we're gonna put this out nice and slow. You do a couple feet at a time, then your gear doesn't all spin up. Now we'll get this down there, hit bottom, because it's a 360 flasher. We're gonna bring it up a couple cranks and get in the rod holder. All right, well, there you go. Thanks for joining us here today on Root Sports. I hope you enjoyed that content. Again, just trying to bring you some additional content we don't always get time to put up here on Root Sports and uh, give you a little more insightful look at some of the other components that we create here on the show, uh, whether it's the cooking segments or the how-tos or any and all the stuff we do out in the field. So, uh, again, thanks for joining us. Uh, please stop by over there at our social media platforms. Give us a subscribe on YouTube. Check out our webpage and uh, do some shopping on our online store to get all our fantastic swag. Going to do it for us this week here on Root Sports. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.